that music make you feel like you're in elementary school? Well, you're not. There's going to be cursing, nudity, and blood. In this exercise, you can learn to use the CSS at import rule. The import rule is used to import style sheets into a document or into other style sheets, which means basically you can import one style sheet into another style sheet. So if you have a secondary style sheet, it can be imported into your main style sheet or straight into the document. So we have a simple link element that's calling in a style sheet of example a.css. And all we have is an h1 element with hello world in it. Now let's take a look at the example a.css to see what's in it. And all we're doing is changing the body background color to pink. So this, when we look at it, should have a pink background, which it does. Now let's take a look at example b.css. Now if this were to get applied, imported into this style sheet, example A, that means all H1 elements should get affected by these properties. So let's take a look at our index example again in the browser. And we see that we have black text. Now let's go into example A and we'll show you how to import example B.CSS into example A. Now we have to do this on the first line unless you have at char set. If you're using an at char set rule, then that gets the first line. But if you're not using an at char set rule, then the import rule can go right here. And it has to be the first line in your CSS. So we'll type in import URL, open close parentheses, semicolon. In between parentheses, we're going to type in a set of double quotes. And then we'll type in example underscore B dot CSS. Now let's save that example A. Go back to index. And now let's test. Now you can see that our text is not black anymore. It's red and 50 pixels. So you've successfully imported example B's styles into example A.CSS. Okay, let's see where else this will work. Let's take it out of example A. That way example A is back to normal. Let's go into the index. And what we'll do is under the link element, let's type in style. Then we'll close the style element. And let's put our import rule right there. So basically our document gets its normal style sheet. And then we're going to import the secondary style sheet into the document using the style element. Let's see if that works. Yep, everything is connected. So where you use the import rule, it's basically as if you took all of this code and put it exactly where you're using the import. Actually, I'm going to take this, control X and get it out of there and put it back where we had it here. There's also different syntax approaches that you'll see. You can do it without the parentheses and remove the URL function reference. So all you have is at import space and then a set of double quotes. And inside the double quotes is where you put the file or the file path. So it can look like this or the way we originally had it like that. Now the import rule can also be made media dependent. So if your syntax looks like this, that means that example b.css will only be imported if these media properties apply to the user's browser. And we'll talk more about these settings when we do a video tutorial for the at media rule, which we'll be covering that one as well in depth. Okay, let's put this back the way we had it. Let's go ahead and take that rule out of there again. And we're going to try one more experiment. So example A and example B are like normal. Neither are importing the other. So we'll go into index. We remove that link altogether for example a.css. And let's put in a style element. Close it. Now let's import example a. And let's also attempt on the next line to import example b. And let's see if the styling from both style sheets gets applied to the document. Yep. So that kind of configuration works also. All right, let's put all this back the way we had it. And this is the code example I'll give where we're importing from example a.css from the style sheet one, we're importing style sheet two into it. This is the code example we'll have on the page, but we showed you all kind of different ways you can set up the code to make the same thing happen. And it's really just a lot handier if you're going to import some styles from one style sheet into another style sheet. And that's why I'm going to leave this code example because that's probably where it would be used the most 